In this episode, work continues on installing solar into our 2018 Thor Axis 27.7 RV. It's a total custom job being done by a student, so do your own research or hire an expert. Wiring is really the hard part of this project, I find. Installing the components is fun, but connecting them is time-consuming and requires the most research. In the last video, I had just installed everything here. It wasn't wired up. So, for the past four or five days, these batteries have been running all the DC power for the coach. We are down at 78.8%. Only got 47 hours left. Ooh. 2.69s. So we're using 35 watts, 36 watts with just the light overhead lights are on. Which actually is really good considering six lights. We have LED lighting. So if uh you know, compared to a, even a 40 watt incandescent bulb, I have six going. Well, doing the wiring is certainly the hardest job, hardest part of doing the solar. You have to run the wiring all through the coach underneath and back up into where the electrical panel currently is. Um, unfortunately for me, our RV is pretty low to the ground. So, you can't just roll around underneath it. Let's get in, get out, move around to a different spot. Here's the wiring going where the old batteries were. Everything's in pretty good shape. And it goes underneath. There's a clear wireway, raceway. The uh, wiring, these three here, they're coming up through the bottom of the RV and there's an AC in and AC out and a positive and a negative that are going to connect to the charge controller. And then the only other wire will be what I need to run down from the roof connecting to the solar panels. and. This wire is there now. This was technically called Solar Ready, but uh, I don't think that wire is going to be big enough, so I'm going to replace it. Now we've got it back in there. We just have to do the wiring part. Well, today's assignment is to power or wire up the inverter charge controller. So I've got an AC in, AC out, and the battery connection to connect. And I'm going to put in a 30 amp breaker for the AC in. Because that comes direct from shore power or the generator. Everything's wired up in here. So all the DC is wired. I'm going to go turn that back on. The AC still isn't is wired here, but is not wired back in the our breaker box inside. So that needs to be done. We've decided that we're not going to use the couch that was here at all. Another thing we learned is if you unplug the battery monitor from the cable, it resets itself every time so we decided to take out the fold down couch that we had and I've just built this box here got plywood for the top and sides and we're gonna make cushions for it so it'll be a nice day bed it's actually a good bit longer than the couch was so it'll be better if somebody needs to sleep on it which could happen if we're boondocking and don't want to open up the slides. So it went pretty good. Gonna have plenty of room to get inside there and work on any electrical stuff that may come up like adding that next battery. And we'll have a little bit of room on top of the um, that back area. Got the solar panels up on top here. 
they're not bolted down or anything but uh I'm not really sure I'm gonna be able to fit all six there's one in that far corner on the other side of the air conditioner to see if all six fit with enough room for me to walk around I've got four panels up here sort of mostly installed I've got to put the screws in on this side which is easy I can do from the ladder I uh, was climbing up there and I have to admit I don't like heights like that and it was really wet and slick and I was not having a good time doing it but I could there's definitely the room for the other two but I think we're just gonna stick with four for right now and just make sure everything works and I think I'm just gonna try and use the wires that come through on here they are theoretically it says they're 10 gauge on there so that should be enough to handle the four panels we put up four panels yesterday it kind of in the morning and last night we had probably an inch and a half rain monsoon I put Dicor down on most of it after the first little sprinkle we had but the uh, four brackets on the side of the squares didn't get the die core and that one's sitting in water okay uh, I've got these four panels up I got to finish doing the die core and start to wire them together it's uh, gonna start raining soon so probably not gonna cut any wire up here or do anything like that but we have six panels there's two more go here but it's really tight so we're gonna make sure we get these four and we're comfortable they work before we put these other two up. Joe's up on top of the roof. He's putting the glue stuff around the screws to stop anything from leaking. Very exciting. I still have a lot to do to finish this project, but hope to be done next week. Maybe not with the day bed, as that requires big decisions that are out of my hands. You know, colors and fabric. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to follow our adventures.